Hey guys, what up? So welcome to this uh, React Redux tutorial series and I'm actually aiming to do this tutorial series in uh, multiple different frameworks because I know everybody is very opinionated on the type of frameworks they want to use, whether it's Express or Python Django or Flask or something else. So um, I want to go ahead and get started on how to actually set up all this stuff for your project because uh, just for a, a forewarning, uh, React Redux I, don't, I think is uh, is not for the faint of heart. I mean, it's it's a relatively complex thing to get uh, everything initially going, and once you have it going, um, you could probably make make your way through everything pretty well. But getting that stuff initially set up, I think, is is the biggest headache. So uh, for right now, we're gonna go ahead and um, I have this uh, React Redux tutorials video, and I'm gonna create a new folder, uh, which we're gonna start with Express. Uh, Redux. In fact, you know what? I'm going with the whole thing. React Redux, because Redux is not necessarily for just um, React stuff, but they are hand in hand. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my command prompt to the folder location where we just uh, set up everything, and I want to go ahead and first I'm going to say npm init, and this is actually going to go through the process of creating a configuration file which uh, NPM is uh, the package manager that we're going to use to install Re React and Redux and everything. Um, so I'm going to say, um, we need to actually make this all lowercase, so I'll go ahead and say React uh, Redux. In fact, I don't even know if I can have, oh yeah, I can have underscores. All right, I didn't know if you could. A simple React Redux Express.js application. And then uh, this can all be blank. I'll put uh, my name, Chris Hawks and just say yes. All right, so now that we've done that, we have this package.json file. So if I said npm uh, install hyphen hyphen save express, then this is actually going to um, add express to our package.json file and also install uh, express locally. So uh, the difference between local and global is that <clears throat> if you install a global, then if you have different versions of Express, you can end up having conflicts within your project. So I try to keep everything uh, localized, so I don't, I don't want to mix that stuff. So now we have this node modules folder where uh, Express just went ahead and installed. And um, <clears throat> this is actually where things get a little bit more complicated. But before we even jump into the actual uh, installing of React and Redux and stuff like that, I want to go ahead and just get the basic uh, Express.js application running. So one of the things that we're gonna need, which we might as well install now, is a uh, template engine that does not come with uh, Express by default. And we're gonna install Pug, which is actually the new uh, name for what used to be the Jade template engine. And interestingly, they, they went ahead and changed the name. I actually have um, a tutorial series. If you look at my name in Pug tutorials, there's um, some tutorial videos there. Uh, on learning how to use the Pug template engine. It's relatively uh, simple. I think I only have like five or six videos there, but it's good, it's good enough to give you a heads up on, on how the overall template engine works. Uh, but that's definitely something that we need to have. All right, so the next thing I'm going to suggest is you're gonna need some sort of code editor to write your code in, and I recommend Visual Studio Code because it makes debugging so much easier. It's cross-platform and it's completely free. One of the best products Microsoft has created in a very long time, I think. Um, and definitely recommend it. it'll make debugging so much easier. So that's actually what I'm going to be using in this uh, this series here. And I have Visual Studio open right now into the folder of our project that we just created. If we take a look at the package, you can see it has all this information that we pre-filled for our project, including the two dependencies that we installed, which is Express and Pug. And then now that I have both of those, we want to go ahead and create our main uh, app.js file, which is going to be the main entry point for our um, Node.js uh, Node application or Express application. So the first thing we're gonna do is define Express. So we're gonna say var Express equals require, and then we're just gonna import the request framework. And then we're gonna say variable app equals Express, and we're executing the function uh, to create our uh, Express app. And now we need to say um, app.get, which we're defining our first entry point, which is just a forward slash, which is our home page, and we'll say function, request, and response. These are just normal HTTP objects. And then inside of this function here, we're going to say resource.send hello redux and react. All right, so now that we have that, we need to then go ahead and tell it to listen on port 30. 
So we'll say function console.log listening to this joint on port 3000. All right, so that's our basic Express.js application. So now with our app.js uh, folder selected, we should be able to go to debug and click on this little green button and then say Node.js as our environment. It's going to create this config file for us. And we should just be able to launch uh, or just close that out. Make sure you go back to app.js and click play. And this should now actually uh, run the program, but it's saying that there is a problem. So for whatever reason, if we look at the launch.json file, which is in this VS Code folder that got created for us, it's not finding um, this uh, workspace root. And it's actually because uh, it's not adding express, it's not act actually adding the root, which is weird. So we need to say on here, um, express react redux. And I've actually not run into this problem before. I'm wondering if it's because my folder is actually in my uh, actual C directory. I usually have things in a subdirectory called projects, but either way, that shouldn't happen. Either way, it, it doesn't matter. Just put this shit in there and it'll work. So Express React Redux app JS, and then go back over and we click our little debug icon and press the play button. And this should now log out. It says listening to this join on port 3000. And then if we open up a browser, and we go over to our 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 because after the colon is the actual port number you can see hello uh, react redux so now we have um, our basic application running but now we need to actually implement our templating engine but before we can even do that we need to actually get our static files so that uh, we can have css and javascript be rendered by express and in order to do that after we've defined our app, we need to say app.use express.static and we'll just say public. So all of our stuff will go into the public directory, which is kind of the uh, Node.js status quo. So let's go ahead and create that folder now. So in the same folder as the express react redux, let's create a folder called public. And then inside of public, we're going to create a folder um, called JS, another one called uh, CSS which for some reason got put in the JS folder. Make sure it's all in the public folder. And then we'll have another one for IMG and drag that into the public. So now we have the three. All right, and then um, inside my CSS, I'm gonna add just a main.css file so that we can test this and we'll do H1 color red. So this is just using CSS. So for any H1 styles, that should be uh, rendered. All right, another thing we need to do in order to get this all set up is let's go over to our app.js and um, after we did our public, let's go ahead and do another statement that says app.set uh, view engine and then give it the name pug since we installed that. And then we wanna go ahead and create our first uh, pug, uh, let's see here. We'll create our first uh, pug template But now uh, Express by, by default is going to look for all your templates to be in a folder called Views. So let's go ahead and, and add our Views folder. And then inside here, we're going to create our first index.pug file. All right, and then let's go back over to our app.js. And here we're going to say, instead of resource.sim, we're going to say resource render. And once again, if I'm going fast, I apologize. I'm trying to get this uh, this tutorial going and, and you guys could always pause, I'm sure, to just, um, you know, to catch up or whatever. But resource.render is going to render the actual index pug file that we have here. So let's go ahead and create the pug file. So in our pug file, let's go to, so make sure you have pug selected and we're gonna go ahead and write some of the code or we say doc type and then HTML and then everything's just kind of indented. We'll say head title equals this is a Redux app. And we'll say body. I'm not a huge fan, by the way, of uh, actually we'll say welcome to Redux. I'm not a huge fan of uh, th this this pug template engine, by the way. I've never been a fan of, of this type of stuff that tries to make 
uh, HTML so much easier. I feel like HTML is already relatively easy enough, but um, you know, to each their own. So a lot of people like this poke stuff. So another thing too is I want to let you know that I do have a tutorial video on on actually getting started with Pug. So like if you just search Pug tutorial Chris Hawks, you can see that I have this Pug image and everything. Check out that video. All right, so we need to restart our server. And if you get this message when you restart the server that it, it can't look up uh, the index view, you can see what's going on here. We have this root directory and then it's looking for views. But our project doesn't exist there. It actually exists inside of Express React Redux within that root directory. So another thing, just make sure that the views folder is inside the Express React Redux folder. So you can see my views is in there. And then we need to add a line uh, just above the pug statement where we're going to say, you know what, um, for all view requests, use the current root directory plus the view. So that way it'll point to the view directory and press uh, control S to save. And then we can restart by doing just this uh, restart button. And if we look and watch this in action, then you can see that it displays. Now, another thing, we have a pug template error. Once again, I'm not a huge fan of pug, but if we go in and we fix that, uh, jade, uh, jade or pug, whatever you want to call it, doesn't need the uh, the equal sign or the parenthesis, which is weird because I, I believe in an older version it used to, but it looks like it doesn't need that anymore. And you can see that it's automatically fixed there. So now we have um, an actual template engine working, um, although our CSS is not actually working because we need to go ahead and add it. All right, so in order to get the static files working first, we need to go ahead and over here on the app.use, we're going to say static. So just forward slash static, make sure there's a comma here. And then here, we need to do the same thing we did down here because of our root directory is all kind of, uh, it's, it's not really working correctly uh, by default with uh, this express app, which is kind of annoying. But we need to just tell it specifically where this public folder is. So what we're doing is we're saying all static requests used the root directory, which is this folder here, and also the public folder to handle that. So we have our CSS and that's where our main is. So if we go into the Jade uh, or Pug template engine, in order to do an external style sheet, we go ahead and we just down here under the title, we can say link and then inside parentheses relation equals style sheet. And then comma is going to be the href and this will be the actual location to where our static CSS can be found. So we want to reference the static folder so uh, Express knows to use that public directory. Then we can say CSS main.css. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and restart the server. And if we revisit our page, you can see that the main.css is now being rendered. So that's how we have our Express.js running in just under 13 minutes. Um, so in the next videos, we're going to get into the React Redux uh, side and all the installation that we have to do to get that working. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, share this, and vote up if you would. I appreciate it. And check out some of my other videos if you're interested. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Hey guys, so a lot of you ask me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.